Brian from Colorado Cultures here. So today we want to show you how we actually make our liquid culture plus into a viable culture. So we do have our pre-mix that we're going to show you how we actually mix it up, get it ready for sterilization. But for all of you that do not have a pressure cooker, we also sell these pre-sterilized with a magnetic stir bar, reusable lid and everything ready to go. Okay, so after the video, if you do seem that you do like it, but you don't have a pressure cooker, don't let that intimidate you at all. So we're gonna show you how to do both methods, okay? So today we're gonna show you how we get to this stage. So we're gonna take a brand new jar. That's how you know it's gonna be nice and clean. I have my reusable lid with magnetic stir bar right here that we've rinsed off underneath water. And we have our powder right here that I'm gonna show you how we actually use, just using a tablespoon with a magnetic stir bar to get it all spun up. So yeah, let me show you how that's done. Take, take a lid off of our pre-mix. Should have a nice sterilized lid so you know that it's nice and fresh. So for a pint size, we do half a tablespoon. But what we want to do first is actually get our stir bar in there. So we drop that guy in there real quick. Take out a moisture packet. Okay, and taking your tablespoon, basically just take, get about a full tablespoon, and then I kind of try to get about half of it out, because we need half a tablespoon for a pint. It's just about like that. Boom, just like that. All right, now with our jar, we're basically gonna fill it up to the 300 milliliter mark. Okay, so using nice distilled water, as you can see that we have ready right here. This is even cold water, just to show you how fast it actually dissolves. So take the lid off, I'm gonna pour it up just a little bit past the 300, because you are gonna lose a little bit of moisture in the pressure cooking process. Okay, all right. So now taking one of our reusable lids, we're gonna put our O-ring on kind of pressing in the crevice so it gets nice and leak proof. I'm gonna put that guy on there. Basically just jiggle, 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 jiggle. Put it on our stir plate. And we're gonna turn that guy on just a little bit. And that's gonna mix just for a couple minutes. Okay, and when all of your premix is dissolved, you should have a jar that looks like this. Okay, now we're gonna take this jar, we're gonna put it into a pressure cooker. We're gonna cook it for 45 minutes at 15 PSI. That is very important. So the color is actually gonna switch. It's gonna turn into a caramelized brown color. That's how you know your sugars have actually broken down your mycelium can eat them faster. Okay. And then when we add our culture, you're gonna see it's gonna start kind of growing a little bit get a little foggy inside the jar. As you can see the color difference, that's how you know your mycelium is actually eating the sugars. So, once your jar is completely done, it should look like something like this. This takes anywhere from 10 to 14 days of putting it on your stir plate. Once a day. Just for like five minutes. All you want to do is break up your mycelium. You want to get some nice aeration in there so you can help your, your mycelium grow a lot faster. And then from here, we basically just drop syringes and put them into our spawn bags. But that's how we actually make our liquid culture plus. As you can see, it's super easy. Um, this is the jar that we started with. As you can see, there's no anything in the bottom. So everything has been dissolved. It's water soluble as can be. So, yeah, so next time you're having trouble trying to figure out how to make a good liquid culture, why don't you try our No Fuss Liquid Culture Plus Premix. And if you want to save some time, try one of our actual sterilized jars. So, all right. 
Brian from Colorado Cultures here. We'll see you next week for our new video. See you later. And remember, you can get these products and all of our great mycology products at Colorado Cultures LLC. And we want to let everybody know that we got some big news coming in the, in the following weeks. So please stay tuned. See you soon.